This conference will now be recorded. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Teleconference Agenda 2020-06. The date is April 1st, 2020. Good day, everyone. My name is Jason Rogers. I will be the host of today's call. I would like to call this meeting to order and inform you that all that uh, inform you all that this meeting is being recorded. I don't know why I stumble over that every time. <clears throat> Should any of you have objections to being recorded, uh, you may disconnect now. This teleconference will be run by the agenda and all attendees will be placed on mute. So the primary presentation may proceed uninterrupted. All questions during the teleconference should be emailed to ema at co.delaware.in.us, so they may be addressed at the end of the meeting. That email is included in the invitation. Please do not place your phone on hold, as hold messages will play to the entire group, and if and when the conference mute is lifted, please keep all side conversations and background noise to a whisper. Uh, it will be audible to the entire group if you do not. Should you wish to speak, please state your name and whom you represent. Welcome. Item number one, the current number for positive tests of COVID-19 here in Delaware County is now at 21. Uh, with the number of tests being sent out, the Delaware County Health Department is going to start releasing an update only once daily at 10 a.m. Uh, we will continue to update the hub as well as when that information comes in, but we should now expect a once daily 24-hour uh, briefing or, or press release from the health department at 10 a.m. every day. Item number two, a cooperative effort is being made between the Delaware County Coroner, IU Health Ball Memorial Hospital, and the Emergency Management Agency in preparing for mass fatality management Items such as storage, body preparation, local mortuary facilities, and funeral home locations, capacities, and resources are now being evaluated. Coordination with all local funeral service providers is ongoing, as well as on and off-site temporary morgue plans are being developed. Orders of more than 200 body bags have been filled by the Emergency Operations Center Logistics Section, which is now on the way. Item number three, we are in communication with not only IU Health Ball, but also the District 6 Healthcare Coalition. And we can say that the district healthcare census is down. And that means that the number of patient, inpatient hospital beds uh, are currently sufficient at the time of this call. And all preparations are being made for surge capacity in every hospital in our 13 county region. There is a, sta a standing daily conference call between the Hospital Emergency Operations Center staff and the County Emergency Operations Center staff while they are both activated. Open Door Health Services has re is reporting that urgent care numbers have dropped over the past week to 10 days, and they are going to temporarily cut their urgent care hours to allow staff to rest. Item four. Homeless shelter authorization request and questions from FEMA funding eligible organizations need to be sent to the state EOC. The state emergency operations center guidance was that there is no current supply or financial support for impromptu homeless shelters and that all questions should be addressed to the emergency support function 15 desk at the state emergency operations center by emailing the address ESF15 at dhs.in.gov. Again, that email for questions regarding impromptu homeless shelter authorization should be sent to ESF15 at dhs.in.gov. We have been in contact with the Muncie Mission and they have implemented safety precautions. Muncie Mission is seeking the need for additional space, not because the homeless headcount, but because they are not able to provide appropriate social distancing or separate isolation space for those showing symptoms in their current facility. Even if and when space is found, there would be a tremendous need to fund a 24-7 staffing at whatever site that they would, they would select. The Muncie Mission is proceeding with reaching out to churches to see what might be available. If anyone can partner with the Muncie Mission, please contact Bob Scott, the Vice President of Development at 765-288-9122, extension 107. Item number five. 
Purdue Extension is hosting a virtual local government roundtable for East Central Indiana to promote idea sharing and creative solutions to carry out local government functions during this unprecedented time. Delaware County has clearly been leading in the rep uh, responsiveness efforts in East Central Indiana, and thank you for your leadership. Please join in sharing the information for this local government roundtable with Purdue Extension. It is going to be held Friday at 10 a.m. via a Zoom meeting, and that will be at https backslash, I'm sorry, semicolon backslash Purdue Extension dot Zoom dot US slash J5791319939. I know that's a mouthful. That will be included in the agenda for this call. Item number six, due to the extremely high volume of requests for public assistance forms being submitted to the states, FEMA has streamlined the process on submitting the request for public assistance form for this event. FEMA has created the ability for an applicant to submit their own request for public assistance directly from the grants portal and to create their own account with FEMA for this declaration. This declaration is numbered EM3456, EM3456. The EOC, the Delaware County EOC, did email out guidance on the FEMA public assistance program application process last night. If you did not receive this information and you would like to have a copy or you feel that your organization is eligible, email a request to ema at co.delaware.in.us. Also, the documentation for application is in the hub under pub public safety resources at www.dcema.com. Item seven, the EMA will start advertising the Nixle alerting platform in the next few weeks. If you are not getting the Nixle alerts from the Emergency Operations Center, please text the letters to DCEMA to 888-777. Again, Emergency Operations Center text alerts, you can text the letters DCEMA to 888-777. The Indiana State Department of Health call center for the general public and medical providers is now open. That number for questions is 1-877-826-001. Again, the Indiana State Department of Health call center for the general public and medical providers is open. That number is 1-877-826-001. Item number nine. In an effort to encourage social distancing and in the interest of the faith community, 104.1 WLBC Radio is offering the following free service. On Easter Sunday, they will air pre-recorded audio segments from any church that provides an emailed audio segment to WLBC. WLBC Radio asks that each segment be five minutes or less and be emailed to steve.lindell at wolfboom.com. That's steve.lindell at wolfboom.com. No later than 5 p.m. on April 7, 2020. This recording can simply be done via smartphone or other method easiest for the presenter. In the email, please include the contact information of the church in case WLBC needs to reach out again, that is to be emailed to steve.lindell at wolfboom.com. We now have time for Q&A. When the conference mute is lifted, please keep all side conversations to a whisper and background noise to a minimum, as it will be audible to the entire group. Should you wish to speak, please state your name and organization you represent so we can call on you. Please do not place your phone on hold as a hold message will play to the entire group. I'll now take everybody off mute. Do not have any questions that have been sent to the email. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, the call has been muted for closure. Thank you for joining the conference call today. The next update will be announced via email, so please watch your email for the next announcement, and the meeting will be posted on social media. Thank you.